In geometry, area is the amount of space a flat shape, figures like a polygon, circle, or ellipse, takes up on a plane. Flat shapes have two dimensions, width and length. A square, for instance, has a width equal to its length. An ellipse has width and length too. So we can easily see how the square could be divided into small square units. You may not easily see how an ellipse could be made up of little squares, but it can. Since it has width and length, it covers a space, and that space, even with the curving sides of the ellipse, can be divided into square units. Counting the square units in the square is easy, but how can you count all the square units in the ellipse? How much of the squares are inside the ellipse just under the top curve or at the ends? Fortunately, mathematics has a fast way to add up all the squares without counting them. Square units are the measurement unit for area, because flat shapes can always be divided into square units of known dimensions, like these. To find the area of any square or rectangle, you only need its width, w, and length, l, or base, b. The formula is area equals length times width. The answer is expressed in square units, derived from the linear units. Here is a rectangle 90 meters wide and 120 meters long, the largest size of a FIFA soccer field. What is its area? We start with our formula, A equals length times width. Then we plug in our numbers and we get A equals 10,800 meters squared. Because the soccer field is measured in linear meters, its area is square meters. The formula for a square with a known side S is even easier than writing out length times width. It's just A equals S squared. Here is a square with sides 15 inches long, the same size as the bases on an MLB baseball field. What is its area? Well, we plug in our number 15 for S, do the math, and we get A equals 225 inches squared. All the other polygons do not easily divide into square units. Take a parallelogram, for example. The two sides cut right across many square units. Of course, a parallelogram is just a knocked-over rectangle. So, if mathematically we could cut off one end and attach it to the other, we would have the area in square units. We can do exactly that, since the area of a parallelogram with a base B and width or height H is found using this formula. A equals B times H. That is the same formula as for a square or rectangle. If you divide a parallelogram along a diagonal, what do you have? Two triangles. That means the area of any triangle is half the area of a parallelogram, with the same base length and height. A parallelogram, remember, uses the same formula as a rectangle. The area of a triangle is then half the base, multiplied times the height. Here is a right triangle a sail from a 45-foot Morgan sailboat with a 20.25-foot base and a height of 44 and a half feet. What is its area? Let's plug the given numbers into our formula and figure it out. For convenience in multiplying, you can change the fractions to decimals. The answer we get is A equals 450.5625 feet squared, or square feet. Let's look at another example. Here is the home plate of an MLB baseball field. You can calculate the area of this home plate pentagon by considering it has two shapes. A rectangle, 17 inches by 8.5 inches, and an isosceles right triangle with legs 12 inches. Now we plug in our numbers into our two formulas. Starting with the rectangle, we have A equals length times width. And using our numbers, we end with A equals 145 and a half inches squared. Next, we have our triangle formula, A equals 1 half B times H. We do the math, and our answer is A equals 72 inches squared. Now we add these two areas to find the total area of home plate, which is 216 and a half inches squared. Some two-dimensional shapes are not even polygons, 
like our ellipse or a circle. The area of a circle with radius r is found using this formula, a equals pi times r squared. An ellipse's area is found using its two axes, the major axis, length from the center, usually designated as a, and the minor axis, width from the center, usually designated as b, with this formula, a equals pi times a times b.